Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to completely wipe your hard drive using a third party application called Darkens Boot and Nuke. This is a somewhat commonly used program to wipe hard drives with. I've used it in the past and while there are many other options to do the same task, I prefer using this free application. So pretty much what this will do is once we boot off of the CD containing this program, we will be able to wipe our hard drive. This method will also work for earlier versions of Windows, but we are going to be doing this demonstration on a Windows 10 computer. So the first thing we are going to have to do is boot off of the CD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the computer here. And then I'm just going to start tapping on the escape key as we are restarting the computer here. Okay, so now that our CD with this tool has already been inserted into the computer, I'm going to select to boot from the CD-ROM drive, so I'm going to click on enter for that. You get this warning here letting you know that once you run this tool, there's really no going back. Make sure you back up all of your files before proceeding with this. Really can't stress that enough. There is no coming back from this pretty much. So at this point, I want to click on enter. Now this may take a minute, so once this is done getting us to the main window, I'll be right back. Okay, so once we get to this page, we want to type M on the keyboard, and that'll get us to the methods page. Now under wipe methods, if we use our arrow up or, in, or arrow down keys on our keyboard, we can see we have different options to wiping this computer. So quick erase, obviously, that'll be the least secure wiping it and you can see here over on the right under security level it only says one pass if you go further down you can get up to 35 passes and as you can see the security level increases the higher up in the list you go and you can actually read a nice little description of what each one of these wipes do for the purpose of this review because it will be the quickest I'm going just to select quick erase um, if you are looking to erase your hard drive for good and you have time to wait just, I would recommend going all the way down to the Gudman wipe, but I'm going just to select quick erase for the purpose of this review. I'm going to click on enter, and now you have to select which hard drive you want to delete. Now for most people there should only be one drive. You might have a secondary one if you have a recovery drive. Just make sure you select the right one. Typically it will be the primary partition that has the most amount of hard drive space. So I'm going to click enter again. And then you see the word wipe appears inside that those quotation marks. And then once you click F10, that'll start the wipe. So tap F10 when you're ready. So depending on your hard drive size, this might take a little while. So I'm going to let this thing run and I'll be back. Hello everybody, I'm back. It's been about 15 minutes or so. The hard drive has been successfully deleted and we can see all selected disks have been wiped. We can see the start date and the finish date. So it's pretty quick to actually begin doing this operation. And you can use USB sticks to perform this action as well. I just typically use a CD because I just find it to be a little bit easier. Now we just press any key to continue. So at this point I'm going to try and restart the computer and I will be right back. Hello everyone, I am back. So I just tried to boot from the computer and we can see that no boot file name has been received. So this computer is basically trashed at this point. Again, I cannot stress it enough. If you are trying to back up files, make sure you do them before running this tool. I know it sounds obvious, but I am sure it has happened before. And I am sure someone is going to do it and then realize their mistake afterwards. So just try and take a little bit of caution when doing this, but it's a great tool, it's free, and I've used it before. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.